going on? It's Alexander here, back with some more Dragon Age Inquisition. I want to talk to you about the cure for tranquility. It's not a cure. Not truly. Mages who were once tranquil lose all control over their emotions. They become irrational, unable to focus. Perhaps that state eventually passes and they can be helped, but it will take time to investigate. There are so many tranquil. They deserve a chance to heal. I would not want news of a cure to spread until we know for certain we can help these people. Once we have that, however, then I will spread the word myself. Okay. That's enough for now. Another time, then. I'm gonna be real. I'm kind of warming up to Cassandra. Inquisitor. Like from Haven's fire come we the able to Damn these are good. Are these nuts or seeds or whatever? They're good. See nut. Alright. Let's head out. Uh Storm Coast. Go up there. I think the quickest way would be from our camp here. Let's see, we need bull. Bring Solace along, and Varric. First time we've had a... Bull on our little lineup here. But yeah. Like, the, this quest, and that little talk with Cassandra, like, really up... Uh, her and my books. Because she's willing to let that secret out, try to help right. people. Our Kunari contacts should be here to meet us. He is? Good to see you again, Hisrad. Gat! Last I heard, you were still in Saharan. They finally decided I'd calm down enough to go back into the world. Boss, this is Gat. We work together in Saharan. It's a pleasure to meet you, Inquisitor. Hisrad's reports say you're doing good work. Einbull's name is Hisrad. Under the Kuhn, we use titles, not names. My title was Hisrad, because I was assigned to secret work. You can translate it as Keeper of Illusions, or... Liar. It means liar. <laughs> well, you don't have to say it like that. I look forward to working together. Hopefully this will help both our peoples. Tevinter is dangerous enough without the influence of this Venatori cult. If this new form of Lyrium helps them seize power in Tevinter, the war with Kunandar could get worse. With this stuff, the Vince could make their slaves into an army of magical freaks. We could lose Sahara and see a giant Tevinter army come marching back down here. The Ben Hasrath agree. That's why we're here. Our Dreadnought is safely out of view and out of range of any Venatori mages on shore. We'll need to eliminate the Venatori, then signal the Dreadnought so it can come in and take out the smuggler ship. What do you think, Bull? <sighs> Don't know. I've never liked covering a dreadnought run. Too many ways for crap to go wrong. If our scouts underestimate enemy numbers, we're dead. If we can't lock down the Venatori mages, the ship is dead. It's risky. Riskier than letting Red Lyrium into Minrathos? There might be Venatori mages on the ship as well. If the dreadnought can't handle them, it's unlikely there'll be more than two or three mages on the ship. And they'll be dead by the third shot. On land, though, a half dozen Venatori attacking the Dreadnought from cover could do some serious damage. If it's dangerous for the Dreadnought close to shore, why not attack when the smugglers reach open water? Any decent smuggling ship can outrun a Dreadnought on open water. We need to catch them close to shore. I could have crushed any Venatori resistance with the Inquisition's main forces. Why not use them? Because then the Venatori would have seen you coming and run. They'd schedule a new shipment for later, and our spies might not know when or where. This is risky, yes. But it's our best chance to destroy the shipping operation permanently. Let's go hold up our end of this bargain, then. My agent suggested two possible locations the Venatori may be camped to guard the shore. There, and there. We'll need to split up and hit both at once. I'll come with you, boss. Krim can lead the charges. Let me fill him in. Come by when you're ready to move. All 
All right. Once they're down, send up your signal. That'll let the Dreadnought know it's safe to... Just waiting on you and his rod or Iron Bull, I guess. You knew Iron Bull back when he fought in Saharo? Yes. He led the group that freed me. I was a Magister's slave, and when the Magister went to Saharon, he brought me along. For company. Iron Bull and his men attacked my master's ship and killed him, as well as his soldiers. Bull set me free. And you decided to start following the Kuhn after that? What do you think? I just watched a giant horned warrior kill the Magister who hurt me. He never told me about this. One of the few things he hasn't shared with you, I gather. Sure, Bull. Share the secret Ben Hasrath reports, but keep that bit where you save the elf boy to yourself. Is Bull going to get in trouble for passing those reports on? The Ben Hasrath aren't pleased with how forthcoming Bull has been. But he was one of their best agents. He kept the streets clean in Saharon longer than anyone before him or after. He fought until it nearly killed him. The Ben Hasrath trust him enough to accept how he joined the Inquisition, even if they don't like it. Besides, they hate to discard a tool that might still have some use left in it. That's why I have a job. Sounds like following the Kuhn hasn't always been easy. I had a temper. Bull's nickname for me, Gat, comes from Gatlock, the explosive power in Canary Cannons. I was so angry when I was first freed. I wanted revenge. I wanted to find my family, who was still enslaved in Minrathos. I thought about leaving when the Kuhn didn't tell me what I wanted to hear. But I didn't. Why not? The Canari were always ready to listen, to teach. They cared for me as much as one of their own. And if I leave, the parts of the Kuhn that I don't like are never going to change. No one's actually detailed how an alliance with the Kunari will help the Inquisition. The answer to that is above my rank. But the Canari don't really bargain. They don't know how. I doubt you want Canari troops stomping around your stronghold, and you're too far away for supplies to be useful. You get more use out of our ships, I imagine, and the agents we've got spread across Thedas. We know a lot more than what Bull sees in those reports he's been forwarding to your spymaster. How did an elf end up working for the Kunari out here? The Ben Hasrath usually pick elves or humans to work outside of Kunandar. A little harder to spot. I've worked in Orle and Navara, but only for a few years now. What did you do before that? When I was old enough, I fought to Vinter Forces in Saharon. I was too angry to do much else. It took me a long time to accept the Kuhn, to get past justice to purpose. Some days are still difficult. Do you have a minute to talk about the Kuhn? I'm a spy inquisitor, not a teacher. I'm not interested in converting anyone or debating the philosophy. But I suppose it would make for an interesting report to hear the Inquisitor's opinion of the Kuhn. To be honest, I don't really understand enough of the Kuhn to judge it. I think you have to be raised under the Kuhn for it ever to make sense. The people who join as adults either end up unhappy or... Well, for many, it's just a kind of form of slavery. I like the simplicity. I like knowing my place and knowing that it's the right place. Other parts I've struggled with myself. I'll let you know when we're ready. I await your pleasure, Inquisitor. All right, someone insightful there. I'm ready to head out, Bo. Right. Chargers, hit them hard and hit them fast. When this is over, drinks are on me. You got it, Chief. Chargers, double time. Let's move. Alrighty then. Your charge is the easier target. You think? Lower and farther from the smuggler's ship, it's much less likely to be heavily defended. Suppose we'll do the heavy lifting then, just like old times. <laughs> Let's get to work. Don't let them warn the others. Go. I don't see any tattoos, but you're carrying a staff. Are you from a Chantry Circle? No, 
and I would prefer not to discuss it. Have I done something to offend you? You joined the Kune? After they rescued me from slavery and put you into something worse. A slave may always struggle for freedom, but you among the Kune have been taught not to think. Solace, not the time. Alrighty. I get where Souls is coming from. Like, not thinking for yourself just in general is never a good idea. And they were literally basically told that that's what they're doing. We're clear, Gat. Right. Signaling the Dreadnought. Chargers already sent theirs up. See him down there. I knew you gave them the easier job. There's the dreadnought. That brings back memories. <laughs> nice one. Crap. They've still got time to fall back if you signal them now. Yeah. Your men need to hold that position, Bull. They do that. They're dead. And if they don't, the Venatory retake it and the Dreadnought is dead. You'd be throwing away an alliance between the Inquisition and the Canari. You'd be declaring yourself Talvashov. With all you've given the Inquisition, half the Ben Hasra think you've betrayed us already. I stood up for you, Hisrad. I told them you would never become Talvashov. They're my men. I know, but you need to do what's right, Hisrad, for this alliance and for the Kuhn. Call the retreat. Don't. They are falling back. All these years, Hisrad, and you throw away all that you are. For what? For this? For them? I regret that we couldn't protect the Dreadnought. So do I. out of range. Won't be long now. Bull, when the Dreadnought sinks... Sinks? Canary Dreadnoughts don't sink. <sighs> Come on. Let's get back to my boys. Said it from the start. Uh, our people aren't Expendable. You know, risk a uh, risk alliances. Hey, boss. Inquisitor, it is my duty to inform you that there will be no alliance between our peoples, nor will you be receiving any more Ben Hasrath reports from your Talvishov ally. You under orders to kill me, Gat? No. The Ben Hasrath have already lost one good man. They'd rather not lose two. So much for that. I'm proud of you, Bull. <laughs> Thanks, boss. You're late. Sorry, Chief. Still sore from fighting off all those vents. Good to see you, Inquisitor. How did the charges come out of the fight? Just fine. Thanks to you and the Chief, we had plenty of time to fall back. Chief's even breaking open a cask of chasing sack mead for the charges tonight. 
Damn it, Krem. That's the kind of thing you don't have to mention to the Inquisitor. <laughs> Sorry, Chief. Oh. Ah, forget it. You're doing fine. All right. Canary bench. They more. What do you need, my friend? That's enough. Another. All right. Let's see if there's anybody else has anything to say, and then we'll plan out our next next course of action. I hope it's not me. Shame the alliance with the chief's people didn't work out. He hasn't said anything, but he's feeling it. I wanted to talk about you, if that's all right. You know, I'm from Tavinta. Wasn't a slave, but even citizens have it rough if they're not majors. I was a soldier, but women joined the ranks under a different program. When they found out I was passing, it got ugly. I ran, met ball near the border, and ended up here. Not a life I'd wish on everyone, but it'll do. You said you left Tavinta when they discovered your secret. Women are allowed to serve, but only in certain ranks and disciplines. I was up for promotion, but the healer I'd bribed to sign off on my physical had to turn to a sick magister. When the replacement healer saw what was or wasn't in my pants, he made threats. It was slavery or death, so I knocked him out and ran. I'm surprised you escaped from the Tavinta Imperium so easily. It's not like I lived in Minrathas. I was in Trevis, not far from the Navarran border. It helped that I was being chased as a deserter, not a runaway slave. Slave hunters only get paid for what they catch. They're efficient bastards. It's against the law to pass as a man. It's a crime to lie on an imperial application for service. It would have been a heavy fine or slavery. For ten silvers, the healer said he'd tell the tribune I was sick in the head. Some pity for the mad little girl. That was when I hit him. I'd served for a few years. I was good at hitting. What's Tavinta like for a citizen? Someone who isn't a slave or a mage? I'm of the Separati. Citizens who aren't mages. Mages are in charge and everyone knows it. But a wealthy merchant can have an easy life. At the low end, people just try to stay out of slavery. My father was a tailor. I joined the army after the Imperial slaves drove him under. How did slaves drive your family out of business? My father made shirts, aprons, that kind of thing. Nothing fancy. One of the magisters had a pet project to prevent the poor from dying of cold in the winter. Nice, right? He had Imperial slaves making simple peasant clothes and selling them for almost nothing. That magister's nice idea put out slave-made clothes at prices my father couldn't match. It's difficult to compete with someone who doesn't get paid. That's Tavinta. My father sold himself into slavery. He's one of the service publicists. The Imperium owns slaves now. Why did you decide to live as a man? I didn't decide anything. I've been like this my whole life. My parents wanted me to marry up. They tried to find me a nice merchant's son. Every day, put on a dress, look into my father's shaving mirror, and just hate myself. You change with magic. How did your family react when you started? My mother wanted to throw me out. She said if I didn't marry well, I was dooming the family to slavery. She was happy to take the money I set as a soldier, though. Not that it mattered in the end. My father. When I was little, he'd angle his mirror down so I could pretend to shave, just like him. He never said anything, but I think he knew. If you had the chance to use magic, would you change all the way? What? No. I don't want any magic like that within ten yards of my body. Fair enough. I'm younger. Ah, oh, I don't know. Everyone has silly dreams. In Tavinta, dreams like that get you killed. Bull helped me make a good life. Nice armor and a well-placed sock, and I'm happy. We'll talk later. All right. Your worship. Uh, we've already went through all those other ones. See what's up with Bull. You wanted to see me? Bull, I got it. I bust the sala talvasot. Yeah, yeah, my soul's dust. Yours is scattered all over the ground, though, so... 
<laughs> Sorry, boss. I thought I might need backup. Guess I'm not even worth sending professionals for. All right. We're going to end this here. We'll continue this conversation in the next one. So thank you all for watching, and I'll see you then.